I shall never forget it. The year was 1980, I was 18 years of age and I'd already been a veteran of working, uh, well, peddling my papayas on Davie Street in Vancouver for two years. You know, window rolling down. Hi, you wanna go out? Yeah, one of those. And so being a woman of a trans experience uh, from way back then, uh, I had to do a lot of that sleight of hand work. Oh, sorry, for those of you that are new, uh, I am a woman of trans experience from the 1970s. Yeah, and we've been around all the time. It's just that a lot of us didn't make it. Well, most of us didn't make it because the world was really, really hard back then. So thanks world, back to the story. It may as well have been the Stone Age back then because even a trans corn on the cob stuff was not, was, was so marginalized that it's like, it was very rare that you could make a living off of that stuff too, right? Like it's, now it's just like huge because it's, that shows you how far we've come, right? And let me just say that um, that work is work. It's just that I could not do it. I, I've not been in it since 1991 because I just, I just couldn't do it. I never wanted to do it, I had to do it. So I was taught at a very young age, back then, 1979, 80, um, to do the sleight of hand work because we had to work as cisgender girls, peddling our papayas. And we would work with a lot of cisgender girls because uh, a lot of them let, let us work for, uh, with them, especially if we're really pretty because we could draw people in and then we could like, you know, start the machine and they could kind of, you know, finish the ride. So the sleight of hand was that, as well as like just being, just trying to be cis before these people was sleight of hand. But when it came to, you know, um, actually finishing the ride, uh, what I'm talking about there, using your back door, let's just say you had to keep their hands really busy with other things. I'm sure you can figure out ways to do that if you thought about it. Especially if people are into, you know, um, you know, having their hands um, being unable to move. <laughs>